Today we will bring law and order into this hall. Law in the form of uh, preventing mob spawns and order um, making it more clearly what's stored where. While here on uh, this side it's already pretty clear but over there uh, I have these uh, signs and uh, it's anybody's guess what's in the chests. Especially if not uh, all sorted items are uh, actually available. Hello boys and girls, my name is Otto C and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. Last time we left this uh, sandstone Italian house um, in a bit of a shabby state as you can see here there are holes all over the place so uh, first thing is fix that and also uh, make the uh, outside of the house a bit more uh, presentable and I will show you once that's done see ya now doesn't this look better on the interior I added the ceiling so all the tiles are uh, covered up and uh, also over in uh, the other part we have uh, proper paneling, we have doors, then back here we have a pergola, we have all the uh, windows in place and uh, blinds and uh, all the uh, beams are in the right places and uh, also a bit uh, pushed up decorated here on the outside blinds and fences so outside looks pretty good now uh, what still needs to be done is uh, of course uh, the uh, interior and then uh, back here there will also be uh, something to be added and then of course the uh, terraforming but now let's head over to the uh, other project that we started last time the sorting system and work on that one a bit as well I left two holes here uh, for purpose of uh, faster access to the down below and that's what we will fix right now now that's way more convenient drop down on a waterlocked half slab and then bubble elevator back up Woohoo! and looking at this from down here this looks looks really cool especially with the uh, light shining in from above it gives uh, the whole thing a certain glow I'm not sure about the uh, wall decorations uh, because um, I did not yet thought about what to do with the walls in, a, in general terms but we will see the way to go here is basically slabbing the floor uh, thereby making it uh, spawn proof and this only leaves uh, these blocks uh, here but for those we can lower them one down and have uh, have a glass block on top then they are also spawn proof and it's still clear uh, uh, what's in there and then here with the uh, item frame we will go also two blocks down have this block at the bottom place our item frame here with the item in it in the right orientation and we take our status book uh, 
click near a frame and make the frame invisible and then we have glass on top and that's how we will do it all the way down there and for over there I have a different idea with all the slabs in place it's a pretty dark affair down here but once I have the roof in place as well uh, we can have some additional lighting from the top and that should solve that problem for now it's safe it's slapped so no mobs can spawn and uh, we just have to uh, strain our eyes to find the items in the dark and then over here I probably need a few more modules for uh, shroom lights uh, sandstone and ice because I want to do an uh, ice farm at some point and then on this side we probably can combine a few of these uh, modules together uh, that would uh, free them up and uh, um, make them repurposable for other items as I want something for uh, uh, terracotta not necessarily the glazed variant uh, as well as uh, for wool uh, in all the different uh, colors and then we can think about proper labeling so we know where what item is stored so let's start with adding these modules guess what day it is that I recording this last segment yes it's Christmas and I finished uh, this side here so now it's clear we have wood here stone here uh, we have a ledger uh, with everything that should go in here and I don't have to wonder anymore why I find uh, well maybe not stone stairs in here um, but uh, polished andesite slabs because they are just not uh, in this book here so which means it's not filtered and thereby should not end up in these chests here but in those over there and um, over here <coughs> I uh, extended the um, redstone components a bit uh, to uh, include the uh, the rails uh, then for the um, nether which is uh, the next one or the next one or was it ah oh, I think it was all the way down there I added a few items there as well uh, some that were missing and uh, moved the uh, um, the the magma blocks sand soil and soil sand uh, together there and this freed up uh, these two columns where we now have wool and terracotta and here we still have blackstone then we have the dyes um, we have one free and then the stained glass and uh, uh, here I noticed um, I did not put in uh, all the glass but only the glass that uh, I actually uh, had blocks um, 
no use uh, making uh, glass blocks uh, only for the for the filter if you never use that color so if we use uh, additional colored glass at some point we will uh, <coughs> add them and uh, then we are good so now it's probably time to uh, clear out um, these uh, these chests uh, here a bit more with all the uh, junk that should not be in here um, but oh yeah there one more filter we can install uh, but uh, basically that's it for this episode and for this year so I wish you a happy start to the next year and uh, I will see you soon goodbye